By the way, whilst I drive to work, you guys are going to see a clip throwback of what we did the other night. We went to Inca. It was really oh cool. Oh my god. I'm just going to show you. It was lit. <laughs> late today because there is a tube strike which actually works out well because we were running late too so it's okay also i hate my hair like this the front is too like i should have scooped it down more ah look Pin it back now again. wait i should get you to do it because look at the difference guys yeah. um so we'll do that now i just took some outfit pictures whilst we're waiting the client's gonna be here in five minutes um but we have had because we're at the dental practice today Sol sees all of her dental clients, but when we have aesthetic clients who can't make it into or who have booked into this date and can't make it onto other dates, then we will see them here as well in our Harley Street location. Um, so that's what we've been doing, but we actually have some huge news to tell you guys. So we actually have some huge news to announce. Next week, i.e. Saturday the 12th of March, three days before my birthday, we are opening our next branch of Dr. S Aesthetics. Woo! It's actually Dr. S Essex. So our next branch is going to be in Great Dunmow in Essex. We are so, so proud um, to have come this far in just over a year of having our clinics. It's amazing. We actually signed on this place three and a half, four months ago. Um, and we've had to renovate it from scratch so I will show you guys like the journey and the progress but we're doing a launch event on Saturday the 12th of March 
from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. Everyone is welcome. You guys are welcome as well. If any of you want to come see us, see the clinic, we would love to have you there. So please do come through. I will write the address on the screen now. But honestly, if it wasn't for you guys' support and for believing in our work and um, sharing us love, then I know that we wouldn't be as far as we are with our clinics as well. So I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you. Um, thank you honestly so much. And it is why I've been a bit MIA on YouTube because I have been working on this uh, with my sisters and yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, Essex is quite a big clinic, but also kind of small as well, I don't know how to explain it. But um, yeah, it's going to be amazing and I can't wait to welcome you guys to that branch. I'm just so happy. So um, yay is all I gotta say. <laughs> um, also, my Invisalign is doing bits, you know, it's actually, my teeth are getting so much straighter. So, yeah, she's like, I'm not gonna buy myself Oud. Which Oud did you wanna buy, the Louboutin one? Yeah. The Louboutin one is really good, you should. But the problem is that I don't spray perfume like a normal human being. Yeah, like as in Sol got me an Oud like two years ago and it's only just starting to run out now. So like, I'm quite responsible with my expensive Ouds, but Sol. Whereas like, I go Sol? through 100 mil within. Two months? Yeah. Two yeah. months, easy two months. Yeah, um, but we're definitely gonna have ramen. I'll give you that. <laughs> and the, my favorite ramen bar is in Selfridges. I think I said that in my last Guys, vlog I'm as well. I'm obsessed with it. They do this dish, and then there's an egg, and then oof. Yeah, like that's exactly oof. how we feel. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. even the camera's like oof. <laughs> so we're gonna go and have. Can that I now. just say I have this patient who has recently gone away. And I told him that I like this thing. He's a Bengali patient of mine. And I told him I like this. Just talking about it makes my mouth water. But in Iranian, we call it Tamla Hindi, right? Yeah. And look. Oh, God. I'm pulling out the wrong stuff. Where is it? Bloody hell. Okay. It's in the other box. She lost it. But basically. No, I haven't lost it. So I was showing it. off because. She always comes home with presents. Everyone loves to gift the dentist, I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just Okay, so let's cute. go, man. I'm hungry. No, no, no. no that's not <laughs> Oh. Okay, just let's leave it be. All right, let's go eat. So, yes, my new thing is to buy Sophie bags. <laughs> Listen, I'm not complaining, but... No, she just picked up the ba Balenciaga hourglass and you know what I love is that she knows I love a bit pink as well <laughs> so She's like, don't you love this one? I'm like, yeah, of course I love it, but stop buying me shit um, So yeah, I'm the responsible one out of the two of us But let me just show you some nice scenes now, you know, come to Selfridges I'm actually on a mission to make sure she doesn't try and buy me back. I knew that was birthday coming. Mm. You look very beautiful. No, I don't want that bag. No? No, let's go. Walk in front of me. Thank you so much. Oh my god, this is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Did I tell you that you're in contact with me? Right. Yeah. Excellent. Very, very nice. I feel like a food blogger. I'm just going to get the check. So 
Jay Bada. Keep looking. There we go. So I just came home and took a shower and I'm going to try Sina's La Mer Concentrate Serum because I need a new serum and she just got this one and it's quite expensive so I don't really want to waste money buying something if it doesn't work for me. Um, so I just need something that will hydrate me because in the winter months my skin goes so much drier so I need like a serum underneath my moisturiser otherwise I break out. Like, literally, the cause of my breakout is the fact that my skin goes too dry. Even though, like, I have oily skin, naturally, sorry, I'm, like, bending weirdly because I had nowhere to put the camera. But, um, even though I have, like, oily skin naturally, I have, sorry, even though I have, like, combination, like, oily T-zone, I still get dry skin. Everyone gets dry skin, I think, in winter. So, it's really important to get, like, a serum if you have dry skin like me so I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna put my moisturizer on top and just chill in the bed and watch some euphoria or maybe some YouTube um whatever depends really like whatever I am in the mood for so we will see also random fact in my house we actually have we have a sauna that we never use it is literally storage um, which is such a shame because I feel like right now the way I feel like I would love a little sauna and just steam and just chill um, so I might like actually get on my dad's case to sort out the sauna so that we can well basically it's just we need to clear the stuff out there so yeah I might get on his case so that we can start using it again because I actually feel like my skin would love it too Good morning, it is Saturday. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast now. Um, I don't know what I'm in the mood for, maybe like a little omelette or something. Um, but I'm just in the mood to like play some music and make some food and just wind down a bit. I don't think I'm gonna have a coffee because I wanna try and cut down my like caffeine intake in general. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna like maybe have a tea or something um, and plan out some things that I need to do in terms of admin. You know, like when life admin starts to get on top of you and it keeps you up at night. And even if you have made a list, you're still like, hey girl, you gotta do the list. So I will have to be doing that. Um, also got some last minute things to do for our clinic launch, which we actually just announced on social media last night, which I am just so happy about. And you guys have shown so much love and support. So thank you. And make sure you follow the Instagram page, Dr. S Essex. We'll be having loads of fun competitions on there and um, just ways that you guys can get involved and come get some treatments. Um, and just, yeah, we look forward to seeing you there. So I was looking at my cookbook. Which actually, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been like cooking from the cookbook in ages. Um, also, don't mind that, that's like our little child gate to stop Banksy from going to the other side and running upstairs all the time. Um, I'm saying this and I can literally see him in the garden right now climbing on the rocks. He's just, he's so naughty. Um, so, I saw this breakfast calzone and I just thought I'm gonna make a breakfast burrito, which is so much more common in America. America has so much more like yummy Mexican influence on food. Um, so I kind of want to bring that into my own food. So I'm going to make a little breakfast burrito. Um, I've got two core sausages, tortilla bread. Ta-da! I'm going to put the sausages in the oven. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the tortilla bread, but I'm going to make like my eggs and I'm going to put inside it. And I'm just, I'm just going to show you. I don't know why I'm still rambling.
Okay, let's finish with a taste test of the burrito. Let's see, my camera is about to die. Oh, mmm, mmm, I'm so good. Sriracha is on point. Okay, my loves, I'm literally on 0.1% battery, so I'm gonna say a very speedy goodbye. I love you. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's Persian Bunny. My TikTok is Persian underscore bunny. And I'll see you in my next vlog, which is probably gonna be my birthday vlog. So, woo woo! 26. 26. <laughs>